All right, the first thing you need to do is to fork and clone a copy of both the SDK repository and the open search repository. So if you haven't done this before, it's pretty easy. You log into GitHub, you find open search SDK Java project, and you click the fork button and you copy, uh, you fork this to your own GitHub account. And so this is now on your own account. Similarly, you're going to do the same thing with the main open search repository which we'll be running to remotely connect to from the SDK. And it's the same process. You click fork, create a copy on your local repository, and then you have it available. The next step here is to copy code onto your computer where you can access it via a terminal. Um, now I'm going to be showing a Mac OS copy. If you're using Windows, you probably want to be using the um, Git Bash software that allows, gives you a Unix style interface inside Windows. Uh, but it, you are gonna go over to this big green box that says code, and you can select one of various options to clone, uh, either via HTTP, or SSH, uh, which requires a key, or the GitHub command line, which requires you to install the GH program. It's available on Mac ports. If you have Mac ports, use GH. Otherwise, you can just use HTTP. All you're going to do is click this copy button, which will copy the necessary command onto your clipboard, and then you can go over to a terminal and install it. And I'll show that in the next uh, portion of the video, but you'll do the same thing over uh, for SDK. Go to code, copy the appropriate thing, and paste it into your terminal. So the next step after forking the repositories to your own GitHub account is to clone them onto your uh, local uh, computer. Uh, so I showed you earlier where to copy the uh, URL uh, to your clipboard. And all you're gonna do is uh, go into your terminal. I like to actually uh, create a directory called git where I put all of my git stuff. And it's currently empty. And I'm going to type git clone. And I'm going to paste what I copied from the uh, web browser earlier with that big green uh, code button uh, to copy to my local repository. I hit enter, and I'm going to get a copy of all of the open search SDK Java code. So now if I do a list, you'll see I have that uh, available to me. Um, and then I'm also going to do the same thing for the open search repository. Uh, it is much larger, so I'll do git clone, paste that uh, repository URL uh, that came from there. And this is going to take quite a bit longer since there's a lot more code, uh, but you'll see it's um, downloading. So I'll talk while it downloads. This is basically creating a copy of uh, all of that uh, code from the repository on your uh, local machine. At this point, when you push, uh, when you use commands like git pull and git push, they are going to come from your own fork of the repository. Um, so you can create branches, do whatever you want there, and you're not actually dealing with the uh, the main uh, repository official copy. Uh, but th what that'll allow you to do is when you're ready to create a pull request, you can go to your own fork and uh, go to that branch you've pushed, and then you can create a, a pull request right there from your, um, your web browser um, in GitHub. All 
All right, so far we've gotten you to get a copy of all the code you need to deal with on your local computer, and you can open your IDE and edit it and make changes and use Git to uh, pull and push and do all the other fancy things uh, that are a little bit outside the scope of this because they're common to uh, Git encoding. But let's talk about the specifics to run the Hello World uh, program that we have. Uh, which is uh, useful for you to, to do things uh, like uh, running tests and, and things like that. So you go to the SDK website, uh, and if you scroll down, uh, you will see in the file repository a developer guide file, and it is also linked on the README if you just click developer guide. Um, it will uh, take you straight to uh, the step-by-step -step instructions that we're going through on these videos. Um, so. As you scroll down, uh, we get a, a summary introduction, and this getting started is actually the steps we've already done. We have cloned the, the repository, or you forked the repository and then cloned it uh, to your, uh, your local computer. So we have done that step already. Um, and then to run the sample extension, you can just simply run, uh, there's a Gradle wrapper, uh, so you would uh, type the dot slash to execute it locally. Uh, and run the Hello World extension, and that will get that started up. We're going to hold off on doing that a little bit uh, later. Uh, just uh, it'll be a little more interesting to see it uh, running at the same time uh, with with multiple um, uh, things going. Uh, but then uh, you can run other extensions. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. So ignore that stuff for now. You're just going to be running the Hello World from our extension. Um, also, if you're writing your code and you want to change uh, some of the tests, but it hasn't been published, uh, it won't be out in, in uh, the Maven uh, central repository for um, other code to get an advantage uh, or get uh, access to it. So what you want to do is uh, if you run publish to Maven local when you've made code changes, it will be available in your local repository to use uh, as an import uh, for the, the code you're using. All right, uh, next step, clone open search. This is a step we've already done uh, in the first uh, couple of videos. Uh, so you're now down to this point where you need to enable the feature flag. So this is on the open search repo that we just cloned. Uh, you will go into the Gradle subdirectory and the run.gradle file and you will find uh, most of these lines. What you will not see in there yet is this line uh, for the system property uh, for the feature flag. So basically copy and paste this line uh, into that file and save it. And I'll show you that in a demo a little bit later, exactly what you need to do, but uh, it's there. Um, and then the other thing you need to do is create an extensions YAML file and put it in the correct uh, subdirectory. Um, that depends on what uh, operating system you're using, whether you're Linux or Mac, or if you're Windows using a uh, Linux shell, all these paths are going to be different. So it's hard to predict in advance, but I will show you how to find what path that is and, uh, and use it. Now, there are two ways to do this. There's this big long way to do it from a compiled binary, um, or you can do the simple way. You can just run it straight from Gradle. Uh, Gradle run will work with this, um, and uh, and you just need that extensions YAML file. So here's a copy of the YAML file you're going to need. Um, and again, I'm going to go over to the um, terminal and uh, show you where to create that um, and and how to copy it. Uh, so once that is uh, done, you will then run open search. Um, I'm going to go a little bit out of order here. I told you earlier to skip the step uh, back up here where you're running Hello World. You could have actually run that here and just left it sitting there um, in its own uh, terminal window and did everything else in a second terminal window. Um, for now, we are just going to um, uh, assume you can do that now. You will start up Open Search. Um, again, you would run that with Gradle Run as opposed to this um, running the binary open search uh, binary. Both methods will work. I just find the second one very a lot simpler than the top one uh, because it, it just requires a lot fewer steps. All right, 
So when you run it, you'll see a lot of uh, startup stuff, um, a lot of handshakes. A lot of logs will spam your screen. Don't worry too much about that. Eventually, you're going to be looking for something that says that the extension has been initialized. And we'll show you that in the, in the example. And then finally, uh, you will just run a, uh, a REST request. And you can do this on the command line of a terminal. Um, and the uh, this is a sample request that you can run. Ideally, you'd run that in yet a third terminal window, um, uh, or um, you could use a, a program like Postman or something else that generates REST requests if you're familiar with how to do that. All right, so uh, we will take a break here, go back over to the terminal and uh, run some of these uh, commands from there. All right, we're now going to uh, go through a demo of what we just uh, demonstrated in the developer guide. Uh, as mentioned, the first thing uh, we did after uh, uh, cloning the SDK was to run it. I told you you could wait on doing that, uh, but uh, it, just to show you, it really doesn't require any extra steps. Uh, we'll go to our SDK demo file uh, directory. And here is where our uh, SDK is. I will change into that directory. So this is just a freshly cloned directory. We haven't done anything with it. And I will type dot slash gradle wrapper hello world. And that will run the sample uh, uh, extension that is in our SDK um, that just does hello world type of things. So we'll go ahead and run that. Um, you will see Gradle doing its whole startup thing. Uh, depending uh, on if it's compiled before, it may take a little bit of uh, time to compile, but you'll get all of this stuff and eventually you will end up with um, it saying, hey, I'm listening here on uh, local host port 4532 and uh, it is ready to go. So this is normal if you see it at 75% and the timer running, that's normal. Uh, we'll just leave that there. It's gonna run in the background and uh, everything else we're going to do, we're gonna do in different windows. So I'm going to switch over now and share uh, the original window that um, we uh, did when we were cloning things. And I will go into the open search uh, directory that we just cloned. And following the developer guide here, uh, the first thing we needed to do was add that um, line to the run.gradle file. So I'm going to use the nano text editor uh, that's built in to Unix. Or Linux. Um, if you prefer VI, or if you prefer to edit it using your favorite text editor where you, you can access it from a file system, feel free to do that as well. Uh, but I'm going to open this uh, run.gradle file, scroll down to the line that I talked about before with the test clusters, and here is where we need to add that new line. So and pasting from the developer guide uh, the command that is needed to hold the feature flag for extensions to work in OpenSearch. And I will control X to save. I will say yes. And I will save that run.gradle file. So that's the easy part. Uh, next thing I need to do is this extensions.yaml file. Now, one trick that I have, if you put it in the directory where it actually belongs, it may sometimes get overwritten uh, with various changes to the code. So what I actually like to do is create a copy of the extensions YAML file in um, some other directory. So I'm just gonna actually put it in the um, git directory above it. So I'm gonna do a nano uh, dot dot, which is the parent directory and extensions.yaml. So this is going to tell OpenSearch 
what extensions I am going to run. So creating a brand new file and I am copying and pasting directly from the developer guide everything you need for this file. So we are going to install an extension with the name Hello World. That's just cosmetic. Uh, unique ID. This is actually important for um, uh, what you're going to do with your REST request. Uh, so it needs to match that uh, directly. So you could shorten that if you wanted to to uh, something else. Just remember that because we're going to be using it later. Um, so this is going to be part of the, the REST path. Um, if you remember when I just started up uh, Hello World, it is configured to run on port 4532. So uh, this is where I would tell uh, Open Search where to find that extension and the rest of this version stuff uh, we don't need to actually deal with, but it's there. So I'm going to save this and it is not in the correct spot where it is. I just have a copy of it here and I'm going to copy it where it's needed later. Uh, and now, I'm going to do the shorter version of running open search. So you remember I could go through this whole uh, building artifacts and uh, running the binary uh, using Gradle assemble. Uh, that sometimes doesn't work depending on your operating system uh, with, uh, but, uh, and if you've got uh, all the appropriate libraries in, but it's easy to just run it with Gradle run. So that's what I'm gonna do. This was the, the second simpler option. So now remember, I don't have this extensions.yaml file in the right spot. So I'm going to get an error message that tells me, hey, I don't see any extensions. But that's good because when it does that, um, oh, it looks like I don't have a copy of the Gradle wrapper. So it is down, downloading it. Uh, but as it's doing that, uh, it is now initializing and I'm going to be looking at this log as it starts up and it's going to tell me, hey, you don't have any extensions. Uh, and here's the path where the extensions should be. So um, this may take a little bit longer the first time you run it uh, because it has to build and compile all the code. Sorry, I probably should have pre-compiled that, but then I would give you the full sense of security that everything happens super fast and you would wonder what's going on if it takes you a minute to compile the first time. So uh, don't worry about this, a large project, uh, you can expect a lot of compilation time. Let's keep your eye on the bottom of the screen and you can see all of the compiling stuff that's going on. Uh, this goes a lot faster after the first time. And as most progress bars, this is completely inaccurate on how much time it actually takes. So we're making some progress. We are starting up open search. Um, don't worry about this destructive disk test uh, task. Uh, we know about that. Someone needs to get rid of that uh, duplicate uh, task. That's been there for months. All right. It is still compiling, as you see uh, your, where well, there is a, a daemon here that has, it uh, looks like about 12 tasks going. Most of them are idle except for the compile tasks. So that's still going. Um, so hold on a little bit more patience as, uh, as we continue this. Um, this is normal to take this long the first time. After you do that, all of the uh, compiled classes will be there already and it will take a lot shorter time to get started uh, running Gradle. All right, the main one is finished and now it's compiling all of these individual modules. They go a lot faster. And as you can see, they're happening in parallel. This is all good. We're up to 90%, almost there. Ninety-nine percent, and like all progress bars, it's going to sit there at ninety-nine percent for a long time, and you're going to wonder why does it take so long for that last one percent? All right, finally it's started up, and we can see uh, it goes through, and it's going to end with this not starting election line in the log, and it's going to remain at ninety-nine cent forever because it's still running, um, so it's never going to end. Um, but remember I told you we were going to expect an error message. 
So I'm going to scroll back in the log um, to about when it uh, was doing this startup, and I'm going to look for this uh, line here where extensions YAML is not present. And if I look right above that, I will see this line loading extensions, and it gives me this path. This is where I need to put that extensions YAML file. So on my particular operating system, uh, because I have a Mac, it is in this Darwin tar directory. Uh, and yeah, I'm not even going to bother reading it. You guys are fully capable of reading. But this is where uh, that file is located. So I'm actually going to copy this uh, because I want to use it a little bit later. So now I'm going to break. I'm going to hit Control C to break out of my open search. And then I'm going to copy my extensions YAML file from the parent directory where I previously created it to the location that I just copied and pasted from the log. So this is where it needs to be for my particular installation. Now that it's there, I'm going to go back and do Gradle run a second time. This is going to go a lot faster because um, everything's pre-compiled. So you can see it goes super fast and I'm up to 99% and it's doing the startup. Now the difference here is um, this time, uh, I'm gonna go to where it was loading the extensions. Hold on, where is it? Ah, here we go. So here's that loading extensions uh, line. And you'll see the next line, instead of an error message, it says, hey, I loaded an extension with this unique ID, Open Search SDK Java 1. So that was the extension that was in our um, extensions YAML file by name. Uh, and you can see that was the only extension we had, so it will say loaded all extensions after that particular one. Uh, continuing down in the log, one of the things you can see in the log is that that extension registered some REST paths. Um, there were GET paths. Uh, so there was a GET extensions open search SDK Java hello, and this is a good one to remember because we're going to need that in the future. Uh, if you want, you can copy that or you can just copy it from the developer guide a little bit later where um, it is included. There are also post, put, and delete uh, commands if you wanted to take a look at that. And then at the end of the day, you'll see it has fully initialized that extension. So this extension is running and the rest of this is just a standard code. Open search is running with that extension active. I'm going to switch back over here really quickly to the um, open search command window. Uh, we aren't actually going to type anything here. You'll remember this uh, This was here uh, before when I first uh, started up. Um, but when I started up open search, this started scrolling a little bit more. Originally, I think it ended with uh, this bound address line you see right here. Uh, so that was looks like almost 10 minutes ago. Uh, but when I started up Open Search, um, it says, "Hey, I'm getting a connection from Open Search, and it does all of its handshaking, and uh, you can see where it uh, is sending uh, those REST requests." And here, I'm just abbreviating the very short version: the get hello, post hello, put and delete. So all of that uh, stuff you saw with the underscore extensions and the unique ID, that is all over in the open search side. Or in the extension side, we have much shorter versions of these. Uh, these are the unique versions for the extension. Uh, but it did a lot of sending other things over. These uh, REST requests are the interesting part of it. And uh, don't worry about this transport action. That's some code we're actually actively working through right now. So. Uh, open search is running, our extension is running, and I am going to go into a brand new fresh um, terminal window. And I don't even have to go into any subdirectory. I am just in a, a third terminal window. And in the developer guide, if you remember, I copied and pasted that full uh, URL uh, that we needed. Um, 
you can use any uh, a, uh, REST API like Postman uh, to do this, or uh, you can do it on the command line with curl. Uh, so I'm uh, executing the get uh, REST method. I'm doing this on uh, port 9200. This is the open search port. And then this is the same URL that we said was registered. It's the uh, unique ID of the extension, open search SDK Java, and then the hello method. And if I hit enter on this, I get the response from the extension, hello world. And uh, that's uh, that's how it works. And you can feel free to explore the REST API. You can uh, change uh, the name. Um, let me see. I think uh, I can change this to a put request and add a uh, name over here to the end of this. Uh, I'll just say student. So the world's name is now student. And if I go back to that first REST request and get hello, it'll now say hello student. And we can all uh, do, I think I, we can add some adjectives. There's some other things you can do. Feel free to play around with uh, the REST requests. Uh, and congratulations, you have run uh, an extension. Uh, and then all you need to do is add some code and change some things and make some improvements to this awesome extension program.